often use internet life hacks? In this video, we're going to have some fun by testing the dumbest beauty hacks we've ever found. Watch what it's like. You haven't slept well, have you? Do you want to conceal dark circles under your eyes? Try one of the most popular internet beauty hacks. Apply lipstick. No, not on your lips, but on the under eye area. What's this? It's terrible! The dark circles turned red. I haven't finished yet. We'll correct it. It's only half of the job. We'll apply foundation on top. Squeeze it on a sponge. Put on to cover the lipstick. They say it should blend into skin, blurring away any darkness. But we've got a different effect. My friend looks like a Japanese theater kabuki performer. Okay, let's finish the makeup in this style. Apply bright red lipstick on the lips to complete the image. As for me, I don't think I should ever try this trick. I'll pay her back for making me look so foolish with this red eye makeup. What about a trendy lip plumper? Use a short glass of the appropriate diameter, press it against your lips, and suck. There's a vacuum effect inside. It looks stupid, though the internet community states this beauty hack works like a trendy lip plumper. The result isn't worth your efforts. Instead of plump lips, you've got blue ones. You won't make your lips bigger in this way, but get a bruise instead. Think twice before using this silly beauty hack. On the other hand, my friend and I are perfectly complimenting each other. Her red eyes are matching my blue lips. A horror-themed party is just the right place for us to go to. Do you want to draw your eyebrows in an unusual way? They say adhesive tape can help. Let's test the trick. Shape your brows with the tape. It's easy to say, but hard to make. It seems I've taped up half my face. They say it's simple and convenient. Certainly not. You can ask your friend to help. She'll have to draw your brows as well. You can't see anything because of the stencil. And what to do if you are alone? There's no answer. Remove the tape and see what we've got. Wow, I look like a comic. Incredible, it's very expressive. It's supposed to be an effective and easy way. No, not to draw my brows, but it is to entertain my friends and to take a selfie. I can't miss the chance. To continue the topic, let's try to set your brows using lip balm. Apply it on your brows. And what? Nothing except the pencil-stained lip balm. You'll have to fix it by rubbing the balm out of your brows and the pencil out of the balm. Another weird trick ended in failure. And what did we expect? Applying the lip balm on the eyebrows. It takes too much time to do perfect winged eyeliner. It makes me bored. Why not try to use another internet hack? It seems so easy. Take thick thread. Paint it with your eyeliner. But how can I do it without help? Press it against your lid. You'll need help again. It winged nearly to your ear. And it's too far from perfect. You'll spend so much time on correcting it. You'd better do your winged eyeliner in the traditional way. It'll take less time and effort. Do you like freckles but don't have them? Draw them on. There's another crazy hack on how to do it. Use your foundation and a bobby pin to fake freckles. Dip the pin in. Make dots on your nose and cheeks. You start looking like Pippi Longstocking. It's a perfect image only for a kid's party. You can feel the excess makeup on your nose. Besides, the fake freckles can be removed too easily. On the other hand, your friend can laugh heartily at you. She doesn't have to draw freckles as she's got cute natural ones. Your boyfriend won't like another weird beauty hack popular on the net. You'll have to borrow his shaving foam. Don't spare the cream. It's not yours anyway. Mix the foam with a spoonful of sugar. Apply a thick layer on your face. It's unclear what effect the scrub has. But your friend will definitely think there's something wrong with you. There's no harm in using the scrub, but also no good. Except that your boyfriend will hardly be happy to know his shaving cream can is half empty. Besides, you'll have to waste lots of wipes to remove the scrub if the bathroom is occupied. You don't have to rush to a hairdressing salon for a more en vogue look. Use another crazy internet trick to color your hair with pastel. Make your hair strand bright pink with one simple move. Another simple move. I say one simple move. 
What's wrong? Everything's stained in pastel. My hair's begun looking artificial. The color is not as bright as you expected, but your hands are entirely covered with pastel, and your hair's turned dry and tangled. Are you into organic makeup? Use a beet to get an all-natural, low-cost blush. Cut up a beet. Press it against your cheeks and rub a little. Oops, hints too much. My friend even thinks I've got a fever. No, I'm all right. It's just the beet. It'll take a long time before the blush blends in. It's a challenge to rub it out. As any natural beauty product, it absorbs quickly, making it impossible to wash it off immediately, even if you rub it with soap. How do you apply blush on the same level? Use masking tape. Attach two strips at an angle. Repeat for the other side. Do you still think the traditional style of applying makeup is less effective? Put on the blush or bronzer. Done! Remove the tape. Oh, what's this? Try to fix the failed makeup. Though it's no easy thing, you can't smudge out the blush easily. This is one more example of a weird internet beauty hack you should never rely on. Oh, my friend's been drawing her eyebrows for too long. I know how to do it quickly. Here's a new trick I learned about on the internet. Use a sponge. Draw a brow on the sponge. Press it against your eyebrow. And what? I can't see any effect. I've just smeared the shape. I'll have to correct the mistakes and draw it again. I supposed it would be faster, but it turned out to take even longer. We've never tried a powder substitution trick. If you're out of powder, use flour. Why not? Let's test it immediately. Take flour, dip the brush in, blow off the excess. My friend is impressed already. Okay, let's get started. Oh, it's not the result I hoped for. I look as if I got messy with the flour while baking. It cut into my eyes and nose. No, I don't like it at all. I'll have to go to a store to buy new plain powder. Never mind. At least we had some fun. We found another way how to do winged eyeliner quickly and easily. You'll never believe it. Use a clothespin. Apply the eyeliner to the sharp end. Press it against the lid. Try it again. You have to correct it. Rub it out and do it again without the clothespin. It's one more example of an unpractical beauty hack found on the internet. One you shouldn't try. If you fail to do it using a clothespin, try to do a winged eyeliner with a bobby pin. Press it against the eyelid. Apply the eyeliner using the bobby pin as a stencil. Let's look at it. Oh my! The bobby pin is far from the best makeup stencils. You'll have to do winged eyeliner in a traditional way. Let's make the last attempt to do winged eyeliner in a non-standard style. Apply the eyeliner to the beauty blender. They say it works. Put it on your friend's lids. She's shocked, but her sense of humor doesn't let her down. In spite of the failed makeup, we managed to have a good time and real fun. Did testing weird beauty hacks make you thirsty? Here's an amazing trick to pour a soft drink in a cup without taking the cap off. They say it's easy and convenient. Let's check it out. Make two holes in the cap with the hot glue gun nozzle. Put in drinking straws. Put on the cap. Perfect! Test the DIY tap. All our efforts were in vain. The drink flows out badly. Better take off the cap and pour it in the cup. The trick is just a waste of time. Have you scattered out your glitter? Don't worry, they say on the internet you can collect it with your palms. Try it. Oops, I can't do it. Look, here it is. If your palms are sweaty, the glitter will attach to them. If dry, don't even try. Nothing will adhere. Do you need your hands free while talking on your phone? We found a cool rubber band trick to make it possible. Pull it on your head. Put your phone under the rubber band. You have free hands. It became a true challenge to test this hack. The rubber band compressed my head, so I've got a line on my forehead. Besides, my phone doesn't work properly. It's a highly questionable hack. The rubber band compression can cause a headache and your phone can drop. 
The trick's drawbacks prevail over the free hands possibility. It's better to use a hands-free phone kit and forget about the problem. We found the most useless life hacks on the internet to complete this compilation. Some of the hacks work badly. The others are too impractical. Write in your comments the weirdest life hacks you've ever encountered. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you liked the video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to click the bell. Ding! It's a new video that's come out.